Hello again. This time I'm here with a fire loadout, and I just got this fire bow, double daggers, but my loadout doesn't really matter. Um, I will put on an exosuit perk of impale. Just kidding, it's already there. But yeah, this is what I got. This time I am going to be doing an exo point dungeon. Uh, it's called a crystal hunt, actually. Uh, previously, I've only made videos in the red dungeons, which are dungeon raids. Uh, however, there's two other modes. Uh, they're quest modes. And so dungeon raids gets you uh, a lot of loot. So um, thing you get a lot of chests, you get a lot of gold. These two, the Exo Point and the Soul Harvest, they give you separate things. Exo, uh, sorry, the Crystal Hunt gives you Exo Points for you to upgrade skills. And it's kind of like a skill tree. Um, but is a little bit different. Uh, there's tutorials on that out there. And then this one, Soul Harvest. Uh, you can basically get souls. The souls unlock potions for you to craft before your dungeons. So that is those things. If you ever need to double check that, this is the quest modes right here. Um, you can just go through, scroll through each quest mode, and then I guess player, player level is there as well. Um, but yeah that's that and again i'm gonna go and do a phantom halls and i eh, i don't know what i want to do i i tend to like the underworld aesthetic the most so i'm just gonna stick with that plus it's a blue aesthetic and the uh crystal hunt is also blue so that that works that matches so yeah i'm gonna do most difficult even though it doesn't matter the difficulty and get right into it um so there's there's a bunch of different little tips and tricks oh what am i doing what it stopped oh no you know what the map might have just changed yeah <laughs> it just updated so okay i have a different dungeon now um off we go but yeah there's a bunch of tips and tricks out there uh there's a video that uh, Life on Eternity made Mystic Marvel. He made that is I think one of his last videos, and it's a really good tutorial on how to do these specific Exo Point uh, Crystal Hunt dungeons. And I'll I'll try to link to that um, at this part of the video. But yeah, I'm gonna do less of a quick tutorial and more of just a, a run through it, doing everything. That I need to do and I guess the first thing that you can do is you can step on this to activate the, the pyramid um, and then we're gonna try to drain some exo uh, points out of this pyramid using these crystals which we find the crystals in each of the three rooms so I'm gonna go into this first room and kill some stuff um, ooh, let's shoot that first oh my gosh wow I just ran into that guy oh my gosh I am, I'm doing terrible. I wasn't ready for this. Okay, there we go. Shoot that, oh, that would've been sick. That, that wasn't a terrible shot though. All right, now, and as usual, I, I tend to like the bow the most, so I'm using that bow that I made a recent video on. Um, it's, it's a fun, this thing, it's pretty freaking awesome. Then I also have the daggers, cause this is probably one of the best loadouts to do exo points aside from using like a chrono staff or a shockwave staff. Shockwave staff is probably the best staff if you want to go staffs for exo points. Um, that's an explosive one. Good thing I, I shot it. But yeah, here I'll get this potion just in case. Um, but yeah, as you can see, you just go into each room, collect the crystal out of it. Sometimes there's chests, even though, um, like this room, this room particularly tends to have two chests. Um, ooh, where? Oh my gosh, that guy. Come on, bats. Oh, nice. I got the explosive arrow. Perfect. All right, he only fell. Okay, now he's dead. Let's get this. Wow, we got two ice bats on us. Oh, shucks. Oh no, wow, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Whew, that was, that was spooky because I got hit by the spider. Let's get this spider real quick. Spiders are just as scary as anything with ice because they immobilize you. Um, 
Not quite as scary as ice though, because you can still attack when you're immobilized with the arrows. However, it's still not good to be immobilized. All right, so we got that. Um, this room particularly has two chests, but usually you won't get that lucky with dungeons. Um, they tend to not, ooh, perfect, legendary blade. The same model as this one. Um, but yeah, so these exo point dungeons, crystal hunts, they tend not to have many chests because you only go into three rooms at a minimum. Sometimes the rooms go into another room, so you got little corridors. Uh, and you can find a little bit more chests, like, and get lucky as you get this room. But, I didn't throw that hard enough. Okay. So we got one crystal so far. Now we've got two. Here we go. And you can see the doors, the, the entry to another room is blocked off. Same with there. And there's nothing over there. So, back to the middle. Got some gold. Nice. Didn't even see it. And... Here we go. I'll put the crystals on the podium after I explore all of these first. Ugh. Okay, yeah. It is very tough to throw things on a staircase for some reason. Um, the auto aim just completely acts up and, and sucks. So, okay, this is one of those examples where it's two rooms. I'm just getting that gold. But yeah, so you have to go into this room and then we got, got to go into the next room. Um, and if you do want to, say, speedrun Exopoint uh, Crystal Hunt Dungeons so that you can get your stuff really fast. Oh, my goodness. Oh, come on. Come on, Dad. It is so hard to hit these guys. Um, oh, come on. There we go. Nice. Um, but, yeah, so speedrunning it, basically what you would want to do is find whatever... Uh, Crystal Hunt Dungeon has the least rooms, and the rooms don't lock you in either. So, here, I'll go over here. You can see, I can go out of this room. I'm not locked in it, so I could technically just grab the crystals and leave. I don't even have to kill these guys. Um, sometimes they'll they'll spawn in and they'll, they'll go to the main room to kill you, but not everything will spawn. It won't be like a whole horde coming over after you it'll just be one or two enemies um but oop, missed that there we go fantastic stuff was that everything i think it was okay so in this room no chests so i'm just gonna go back back down here oh another key so i found all these keys two more keys but no more chests okay crystal crystal number one and so you can toss it from here and it kind of just magically goes into there. Uh, if you accidentally drop it, per se, down into the void, it will automatically spawn right back up, so don't worry about doing that. And there's the last crystal. Then you press this pad to start it. Once it's started, which I'm just gonna start it, there's three pads, one, two, and three. All of those will spawn these, these pressure pads if you step on it, these guys turn from red to blue, and then you just kill them. When they're red, they're invincible, and they'll be sucking the uh, exo point from the... Or they'll, they'll be trying to stop the suckage of the exo points. Oop, okay, so now I gotta go click on this, um, and then get back and kill him, distract him. Even if I don't hit him, it's good that I distracted him, because he's not focusing on the tower anymore and sucking the crystal. Um, destroying the crystal. So, okay, now I gotta press the next pad. Try not to press pads before, uh -oh, bad. Okay, here we go. Try not to press uh, pads before the guys spawn because, oh, I just hit his arm. Um, if you press it too early and you, you just keep pressing them right as they spawn, then you won't have enough when you actually need them. Um, so yeah, only, only click them when you need them. And... Ooh, you can kill a decent amount of them. Oh, come on, three shots, really? Ah, that's not good. Okay. You also get a bit of a speed boost every time you... Oh, gosh, blocking the arrows with a sword. Um, you get a speed boost every time you click on one of these pads. Okay, and now I gotta do it again. There we go. Sometimes they'll also go invincible, even when they're blue, which kind of sucks. You can also farm kills on those... Uh, skeleton guys, but 
these skeleton guys, they don't actually matter, so you could just, in theory, avoid them the whole time and, and nothing would happen. Um, not get a single kill on one of the skeletons and you'd be fine. But it's nice to farm some kills here and there. But with the shockwave, for example, you could get both of the skeletons and the wizard. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Nice. So, as you can see, one of the crystals is gone, another one's gone, we got one more to go. Um, okay, the last one's done as well. It's basically just timed, as long as you keep killing those mages, you'll complete it and be perfectly fine. It's also better to use haste, I'm using the haste skill as I always do, um, but when you first start the game, you're not going to have haste. So it'll be a little bit harder to do that by yourself. So having a teammate or two, even though it'll it'll spawn more enemies, having a teammate or two is pretty good for standing at the podiums uh, or the pressure pads. And so if you have three people, you each could stand at a pr pressure pad and click it every time the guys go red. But yeah, that's a little bit of tips and tricks. Um, a little bit of a tutorial on how to do the crystal hunts and... Once you do those crystal hunts, you can go back into your place and not the fabricator, that won't do anything. Um, you go to the exo points, I mean it does do something, but exo points is what you get from the crystal hunts. You got mind, you got chest, arms, legs, and then you can just purchase whatever you want from the exo points that you gained. I just got three exo points from what I did, but I have a total of 119 just because <laughs> I've done a lot of it just helping other people and I have not used all of them because I just don't need to. Um, but yeah, once you purchase, once you unlock the specific exo point and you max it out or even just unlock it. Um, well, I think once you max, max it out, it disappears from this menu and it only shows up in the exo suit. So you'll have to find it in here. And you can see I have uh, eight exo perks for my arms and over here, I only have one that I haven't unlocked and used um because i don't need it don't want it but yeah that is that is the exo perks if you want me to do a another tutorial like or example video of how to do exo points as a low level i can do that as well um i could just equip all the basics and unequip all of the exo points um or exo perks and then just do the dungeon on tier one difficulty as if I just started the game and kind of show how how I would do that because it is a little bit different how you would accomplish that as compared to now I can kind of speed run it and just go zoom zoom. Um, but yeah, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, thanks for the suggestion. I forgot the exact name of the person who suggested this, but it was a good idea. So good stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next time. Uh, next video. Again, leave a comment and peace.